What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about iOS 11 beta two. So if you guys updated to iOS 11 beta one, then you know that first of all, there were a ton of new features and there were a ton of bugs and a lot of battery issues. Again, that's to be expected from a developer beta, but we probably just didn't expect to have as many bugs as we did. Now with iOS 11 beta two, there are a ton of bug fixes and there are actually quite a bit new features that were added to beta two as well. So in this video, I wanted to go over those changes as well as the new features that you're gonna see in iOS 11 beta two. Now, of course, if you guys wanna download iOS 11 beta two right now, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on. It's a really, really simple process and you can update your phone or device right now. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm gonna have both of these phones in this video the entire time. This one right here is on iOS 11 beta one, and this one is going to be on iOS 11 beta two. So if I need to show comparisons or anything like that, then I have both of them right here that I can show you the difference. So our first change here is that we actually get do not disturb while driving in iOS 11 beta two. So you can see we're in the do not disturb section and you can see all the way down here, do not disturb while driving. There's an option for it. You can enable it for manually when connected to car Bluetooth or automatically. So automatically it's just going to basically use a speedometer to see how fast you're going. If you're going too quick then it's going to turn on do not disturb while driving. Of course you can see right here that we don't have that option in beta one. Next you'll see that I'm actually playing some music here in Spotify. Now, if I go to my lock screen, you'll notice that we actually get the album artwork for third-party applications like Spotify here, which is what I use all the time. But you'll actually see here that I'm playing some music on my Beta 1 device. And if we go to the lock screen, you can see that it's missing that album artwork there. Now, the next cool thing about the media player here is you can see that if we go ahead and just leave this playing on beta one and we pull down, we just get the normal you know, notification animation. But if we actually start playing it over here, so let's swipe down again, and you can see that nice little animation right there. Next, you can see here in beta two that we actually get a little bit of a different search in the music. So if you go ahead and type in you know, artists or songs up there, then usually you're just gonna get an autocomplete from beta one. Over here, it actually shows different locations to actually search in. So you can search in people, albums, songs, and then it gives you the autocomplete right down there at the bottom. You also notice right here that we have MFI hearing aid. So if we tap on that, it's gonna search for devices. Of course, I don't have a hearing aid, so it's not gonna find anything, but this is something that wasn't available on beta one, so that's pretty cool. So you can see here, I've called myself on FaceTime. And you'll notice here in beta one that we have just the normal you know, square up in the top right hand corner. But over here on beta two, there's actually a flip camera button. So we can tap on that. And then you can see it's actually going to flip the camera. So rather than showing the front facing camera, it's gonna show the rear camera. All right, so here we actually have a new screen effect or a change to the screen effect. So you can see this is the usual or new iOS 11 Echo screen effect which we can see right here if we go ahead and send that. But over here, it's actually changed. Now, I don't necessarily know if this is a bug or it's actually a real change, but you can see everything is orange. So it's like they almost inverted the echo color. And in my opinion, it actually looks worse. So hopefully it goes back to being blue. And just a quick change to the iPad, you can actually hide the recent apps in your dock if you want to. So if you swipe up here, you can see it's actually going to hide any of the recent applications. So we're not playing any music right now, so you'll see if we go ahead and swipe up, this is what the music widget looks like in beta one, and it changes just a little bit on beta two. So we have basically just a wider text for the actual song, and then below that for the artist, it's a gray text. And I think it just looks a lot better than it does in beta one. Now something else that I realized in beta two is if we go into the app store, and we search for, let's just say we were gonna search for Sega games, you'll notice that it actually gives developers. So it'll actually give results for developers. So if we tap on that, then you can see all the apps that that developer has created. So after seeing this in beta two, I checked on beta one, and that's something that's in beta one too, but it's not something that I ran into before. So I figured I'd just mention it if you guys haven't seen it either. So now when you're in a game, you'll actually get a grabber when you swipe up. So the grabber is basically the same, but it just wasn't working very well in beta one. So if we open this up, you'll see that the grabber doesn't really show up there. You'll see it disappears right there. But if we pull it up right here, it's basically a redesigned grabber that you couldn't really see in beta one. It was there, but you just never saw it because it didn't work. 
All right, so if we take a screenshot here, you'll see if we try to press on this, we can't really do anything with it other than slide it across. But if we do it over here on beta two, you'll see that we can actually long press on it and it's going to bring up a share sheet right here. And if we wanted to, we can now save it to files just by jumping in there, tapping on one of these locations, and then just adding it. All right, so this next change is actually kind of a bummer because I really like the way that it was set up in beta one. But you'll notice if I go ahead and swipe this up and I tap on low power mode, it actually turns the emblem right there yellow. If I do it over here on beta two, you'll notice that it doesn't do that. It's just black, just like all the other normal applications. So hopefully this is a bug and it's gonna be fixed because I actually kind of like the yellow just because it was indicative of low power mode. Now in the control center, if we open up the music widget by uh, pressing on it here, you'll notice that the grabber is much bigger than it is in beta one, which is very, very nice uh, for the volume just because sometimes it can be hard to actually grab the little scrubber there for the volume. You also notice that it is gray or white right here, then the bar is actually black in beta one. So here in beta one, you can see the font is actually pretty thin and they've changed that in beta two and made the day as well as the, the number there bolded. And I think it looks a whole lot better. Also here in beta two, if we swipe over and open up the files app, you can actually tap on edit here. And if you have a Google drive application installed or other drive applications, I'm not sure exactly all that are compatible. Dropbox doesn't seem to be one of them because I have that installed as well. But Google Drive, you can just toggle that on here, tap done, and then you're gonna see that under locations here. So you can tap on your Google Drive, and I'm not actually signed in right now, but if you were signed in, then you would be able to see everything that's on your Google Drive. Something you couldn't do in beta one that's changed in beta two is changing the idle opacity of the assistive touch. So if you use assistive touch, then being able to change that opacity and make it a little bit more transparent possibly while it's idle might be a nice little feature for you. Also here in Safari and Beta 2, you'll get more options when you long press on the tabs button here in Safari. So if we hold this down, so if we hold this down, you can see we get a couple more features or options here than we do when we do the same thing on Beta 1. So I'm pretty sure that this is a new feature as well. And what this is, is basically just giving us all the tabs here that we have in Safari in landscape mode when we're on an iPhone 7 or smaller. So you always got that with the 7 Plus, but I'm pretty sure it's new on the 7 and lower. So if I'm wrong about that, just let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of settings on both of the devices here, and then we're gonna open them up. So one of the things I've noticed is this well, iOS just works a little bit better on beta two, which that's what we were hoping for. So if we go ahead and open up the settings app, you can see a little bit of a delay. Let's see if it does it on beta two. Not much of as a delay in beta two like beta one. So things like that just kind of drive me crazy when I'm using this on my daily driver, which I probably shouldn't be, but things being a little bit snappier is definitely better. Now, one thing that's insanely annoying on beta one is that the music widget doesn't go away on the lock screen even when you're not playing music. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and go to the lock screen, we have the music widget right here and I'm not even playing music and I haven't been for a while. So if we go here on the lock screen, beta two, it clears it. And it's actually really hard to get that to go away uh, without rebooting your device. So that's actually what I've been having to do. So now when you're inside applications and you actually use the AirPlay uh, button, we'll just tap on that, you'll see that we actually get a different UI, which looks really nice. Over here on beta one, if we go ahead and tap on that, you can see that's pretty much what we get. But I think you'll agree that beta two, it looks a whole lot nicer. So something else that is pretty annoying that they have changed in beta two is the fact that you can see here, if we just start playing some music, we'll just play some Post Malone. And you'll see here, if we go to the, the home screen and we start hitting the volume up button, the volume is turning up, but we're not getting that annoying volume HUD that you normally get that everybody's hated since like iOS 7. But you'll see if we go ahead and open up Spotify over here, you can see I'm playing music. And now when I hit the volume up button or volume up rocker, we get that annoying volume HUD back. I really don't understand how it's possible that Apple implemented that massively obtrusive volume HUD once again. It's never looked good, everybody's always hated it, but yet again, Apple brings it back. And it seems like it could be such an easy fix, especially with all the new features they've implemented, 
just get rid of the volume HUD. That's all I'm asking. Now, another change I just wanted to mention to you guys, if you do update YouTube right now, then it's actually going to start working in iOS 11, beta one or beta two. So there were a lot of issues with YouTube uh, previously where like things like the search bar or the search button wouldn't show up unless you scrolled up and then scrolled back down. There were just a lot of issues with YouTube, but they've updated that. So if you download the newest version, then you should be good to go. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, Make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos on iOS 11 beta, jailbreak, Apple products, or any tech that I want to cover, then be sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!